Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video, and in today's video we're jumping into Madness of the Goblins level 6. All these videos are on my website, we're trying to get the best scores possible using the best teams and showing you how to use those teams. But keep in mind there are people out there who are just insane when it comes to Cradle of Chaos, like Rat Squad, I call it the Rat Squad, it's Radinal, and the people he's collected, there's Clarinet, uh, uh, who else, there's H... HWLQ, I don't know how you say his name, but those are the four letters, Stoll, Thole, uh, some of these people are just insane strategic minds when it comes to Cradle of Chaos, so if you ever need advice, these are the people to go to, um, or if you can't find them, hit me up, I'll shoot you the right direction, but we're jumping into Madness of Goblins level 6, there are 5 missions, we'll show you what to do, how to do it, and when to do it, so let's get into it. Jumping into mission number one, we are using a hybrid team. It is one wave, so we're going for three points here. Going down to the... where are they? I wish this was alphabetical order. Oh, how I wish this was alphabetical order. Uh, we're going for a Valar leader. Then we are going for a Morrigan. We are then using a flame. Where is my flame? Flame, beautiful. Then we want a Mordred and a Dracone, Dragon Kin Fire. I was going to say Dracone, uh, Fire. So that is the team we are using. We're going for three turns. So let's jump in and look at what we're versing. So the trick here is uh, there's already a bit of RNG to this. Okay, so we're going to need to polymorph the leader, which we fail. And we're going to have to watch out for the defensive buffs on the enemy. I mean, we'll show you. We're not going to get this. You see how little damage we do now, even with flames AOE. But this turn, this is where we're meant to kill them. So yeah, we'll come back when we get it. But there is a lot of stuff happening here that you need to be aware of, specifically the sneaky beakies and the defensive buff they put up. Jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and polymorph the leader. We're going to AoE with our Morrigan and then AoE with our Flame and get the two or three turn kill. That is a disgusting mission. The four sneaky beakies on the enemy team, if any of them put their defensive buff up, you need to restart the fight. You are not going to get the kill. You can get it if they put it up after your Morrigan has AoE'd. But if they do it before that, any of them, you got to restart the fight. And there are four of them, and it's RNG-based, whether it triggers or not. It's not an ability they cast. It's part of their passive, I believe. So keep an eye out. It is very toxic. It takes a while to get through, especially because there's four of them. So keep that in mind. But that is mission number one done. Moving on to mission number two. It is one wave. We're going for two-turn kill. We're going for wild elves. Gloriana leader, then we're going to go for uh, Orc, we're going to Orc, 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 we're going to go for the Chrome, then we are going Goblins, we are going for the Full Metal Goon, probably one of my favourite characters in the game to be honest, and who do we want, we want the Wombo Combo, Wombo Combo, Wombo Combo, these two, Stealthy and Pride, huge, huge COC characters. So jumping into battle, what we're going to do here is we're going to one-shot the Azariel. Followed up by the AoE with Goon. Nice and simple, two points. First try, got to love a one attempt in Cradle of <coughs> Chaos, sorry. All right, moving into mission number three, it is two waves. So let's see what we're dealing with here. We're going a majority Cloud Wanderer based team. Cloud of Wanderers, we're going you, we're going you, we're going you, and then we are going Librarian with a Support Beastman sooner. So we're going for three turns here. So Librarian is going to kill first wave. Okay, Astoria is going to go first. So what we're going to do here is use our basic on the Azariel, try and get her as low as possible. So... Yeah, okay, and then we're going to wave our wing on the next wave. So we'll come back when we get that rotation working. Jumping into battle here, we're going to go ahead and use our basic attack on the Azariel. Get a double, wonderful. We're going to use our AoE here, clear the first wave. 
move into the second wave, we're going to use our Astoria Wing ability and clear the entire thing. A lot of RNG to this wave. A lot of mission, mission, a lot of RNG to this mission. Done in three turns. I think that is the best score you can get, but my god, it is hard to get. It took me, in total, 13 minutes, but I could see it taking a lot longer with just horrible, horrible RNG on that first wave. I was getting, I was getting mad. I was getting mad. Let's just put it that way. But that is mission number three done. On to mission number four. Pretty straightforward battle. We're going to go with our Bane Arg. And we're going Arakan Undead. One person we haven't seen for quite some time. Blood Priest. So we're going to go for a big hit with the Thane Arg. And then we're going to blow up the eggs. So yeah, here we go. So out come the shield. The shield is good for us because it means Thane Arg is going to do insane damage. There we go. And we're not going to get this kill because we missed the we missed the Hillier. We had to kill her as well. So this shouldn't take too long to get overall. So we'll come back when we've got the recording. Okay, can we get a lucky second go? We're going to go ahead and use our Thane Arg. Beautiful. There we go. And then let's just slow this right down and watch the Blood Priest absorb those eggs. Ah, oh, beautiful. Two turn kill. Second go in. Not a hard one to get at all. You just need the requirements on the heroes. You should be sweet. <coughs> sweet. Sorry, I've had a horrible cough for weeks now. So moving into the final mission, mission number five. Let's see what we need to do. Final mission, it is a one, two, three wave mission, and it is going to be Tiona. Tiona tackling this whole thing. So I'm not actually sure how we get this, but we're going to figure it out. That's what we're here to do. So we're going to do this in seven turns, apparently. Let's go ahead and start by... Um, let's just test exploding the static off the bat. Doesn't kill the first wave. Okay. Let's go ahead and... We've got that in two turns. We need to do this in seven turns. Moving into the second way, we're going to increase the static charges. So we'll see what that does. We're going to go ahead and just use our basic here. We're going to go ahead and use our basic again. And then our basic again, giving us one more turn. So we do not have static applied to the enemy here. Now we do, but we're locked down. So if we just use our basic here, okay. <clears throat> so it's the third wave that's going to be a bit of a challenge. All right, so I'll figure out how we do this, and then hopefully we get it. Jumping into battle, we're going to go ahead and increase the static charges on the enemy. We're looking for the stun from the Mirrodin, which he does. He stuns us, and we're hoping that the static on the enemy finishes them off. We're going to just finish Mirrodin here ourselves. Moving to the second wave, we're going to go ahead and increase the static charges again and hope that they all finish each other off. Doesn't look like they're going to, but we're going to use a basic here and finish them off. And now we're going to go ahead and detonate the charges ourselves. And <clears throat> this brings us to five turns. Okay, so. We need to basic someone here. We're going to basic the Infernus. Getting six turns. That's actually one turn better than the what I believe is the current best score. That is, that is a disgusting mission. Disgusting mission. But there we go. We can get it in for uh, six turns instead of seven giving us a total score of, I believe we did take one turn longer on one of the other missions, uh, giving us a three, oh no, we didn't, we didn't, three, nine, eight, four score. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go, there is level six complete. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.